was another happy-go-lucky day on the island, and Thomas was puffing into the station to drop off some passengers with his two faithful coaches, Annie and Credibel. Man, it's such a beautiful day today. Nothing can go wrong. Just then he heard a horn. Uh -huh. Then... Oh! Hello, Thomas. Huh? Lady McQueen, what are you doing here? I'm here to take over your world. Now, little do you know is that there's actually so many dimensions. You're probably too stupid to know, but there's dimensions connecting your world to other worlds. And I want to control it all. And there's nothing you will do to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Last time I checked, Ryan McQueen was a good guy. Eh, he's probably just messing with me. Later that day, Thomas was taking a small goods train down the line. But what Ryan McQueen said he was getting to his head. So much so that he was not watching where he was going. He's going to take over the world. He's going to take over. Hey, I'm driving here. Watch out, Thomas. Oh. Sorry, Birdie. Dang it. Later, Thomas dropped off his goods train at the harbor. Hmm. Something strange been going on today, and I don't know what. Just then, a mysterious engine that looked just like him raced past. What the heck? Who was that? The engine raced around the quarter and soon disappeared. Okay, something strange is going on, and I don't like it. Soon he went to the yard where he saw Henry resting. <laughs> Henry, has anything been going, like, has anything strange been going on today? Like, has Lionel McQueen came up to you and said he's been taking, he's going to take over our world? And did, did a strange idea that looked like me, who has silver wheels and a silver dome look like me? Like, has he passed you yet? Thomas, what are you talking about? You're like stumbling on your words, boy. Literally. First, I fall into water. With the flying kipper. Second, I have freaking Steven crashing into the back of the flying kipper. I can't take this anymore. You just have to start figuring out problems on your own, Thomas. And Henry chuffed away. I guess that's a no then. Thomas continued down the line. Still, Thomas was confused and he didn't know what would happen. Flight of a Queen says he's going to take over the world, but then there's sure to be trouble right around the corner. I hope there is no trouble. <gasps> Thomas! <laughs> Dexter, what? There's something wrong happening. Okay, so do you know who Isaiah is? Isaiah? No, who is that? All right. Well, he wants to take over Sodor. There's many different dimensions, and that dimension's called the Trainverse. He wants to take it over for himself. And so does Light McQueen. Well, Light McQueen was telling me about that earlier. Yeah. Well, you're probably wondering who Isaiah is, so I'm going to tell you. Isaiah was a small tank engine that used to work on Sodor. But one day, he had a terrible accident with some trucks. He was so mad about the accident, he blamed Sir Topham Hat, and he called him Top of Hat did not take that, so he was soon sent away. But Isaiah now wants to come back for revenge. Come on, I have to show you. We have to go to the train verse. The Wexter and Thomas made it to a strange place. All right, we made it. Dexter, those are just buffers. Yeah, but they're special buffers that lead to the train verse, like this. Oh my God! He just left. Well, I guess I have to follow him. I'm going it. <laughs> we have to follow them. Yes.